some thoughts about what's called, in quotes, the heavy ball. As a teacher, and I'm on court a lot and I really enjoy that, one of my methods is to really ask players to discriminate on the sound of their hits. Or said another way, when they sound particularly good to me, I won't tell them what I thought happened, but I'll sort of make some sort of a gesture as, as much as to say, that was it, did you know it? So, when you're trying to hit a ball, you know, you're drumming it. This is the skin of a drum. It's a percussion instrument. And so one aspect of hitting a solid shot is to get it dead center. Another aspect of the shot is to feel that the racket's greatest momentum occurred at impact. Now, I, don't, I didn't say the fastest swing. I said the greatest momentum. And since I'm talking a bit about Tom Stowe, he would often say to somebody, can you swing slower and hit harder? And they'd laugh. Oh, come on, how do you mean? But in golf, there's a real phenomenon there that when you try to hit hard, you don't, the club doesn't swing as easily or as quickly as if you try not to hit hard. And so this month, I'd like feedback from you. What do you think a heavy ball is? Do you think you ever hit them? Do you ever feel them coming to you? Now, here's some science. Howard Brody, tennis science for tennis players, an old friend, talks about basically a heavy ball is just the pace the ball has after the bounce. The pace. So that if a fast ball bounces on the service line, there's more room for it to slow down when it reaches the baseline than if the ball's deep. So one, it stands to reason a deeper ball is heavier. Number two, if the spin of the shot is rapid enough that it will jump forward off the court, that will make it heavy also. But here's my hunch. I think it's something else. I think the pace matters. I think the spin matters. I think the percussion matters. But more than that, I think it's our perception. And I think what I mean is this. Many times you play somebody and they're swinging really fast and grunting and groaning, and you know <clears throat> they're hitting it. Other times, players don't show you much and wind up hitting it very solid. And I think the third element of a heavy ball is that we don't always see it coming because the cues that we normally associate with power are not there. Now, a digression. My whole tennis life is a digression, I think. I interviewed Jonathan Stark once. He played at Stanford. He grew up with Pete Sampras. And he told me that, that when they were 16 and 17 and they were warming up, it was indistinguishable to him whether Sampras was going to serve a 95 mile an hour warm up or a 120 mile an hour heater. Meaning the rhythm and the tempo, everything was the same with just a little bit extra at the end. But what he told me really was that he didn't have cues about Pete's heaviness. He didn't have cues. And so if you're working on it for yourself, try not to have the cues, try not to muscle, but start to notice when you're hitting heavily start to notice when they're hitting heavily and let's get a dialogue here this could be we could have some fun with this